basically violin production in india like uh, consider that from wrta violin production act 1972 uh, it gives like protection in two angles one is protected area i think you might have heard about the, the protected area in iuc it might have had like six class classification and all another is schedules schedules as you might have seen sites appendages one two three and all so similarly we have uh, two different types of approach and once again i'm telling you this is a superficial view this is not like an in-depth view of our value production act just giving a superficial view uh, so one is location specific as i have told protected areas another one is species specific the schedule will have a list of species which will be protected in various categories and location specific as well will have various categories so first point the protected areas in location specific we have four categories of areas one is national park, second one is wildlife sanctuary, third one is conservation reserve, fourth one is community reserve. So the severity of protection increases from like bottom to top. So next step. So this is how it is like being protected. The first three categories, only government land can be converted into first three categories. The fourth uh, category is like a private, but assume that a private person owns like hundreds of hectares or 50 hectares, which is a forest area. So that can be converted into a community reserve. And with the government land, it can be converted, uh, converted into these three categories. And the protection severity increases from conservation reserve, then to wildlife sanctuary, then to national park. The national park is like highest protected category. When any area is converted as national park, no rights are allowed, no grazing of livestock is permitted. In India, of the whole geographical area, 1.35 percentage of the Indian geographical area is being converted as national park. So this is the highest protected like category. And after national park, it is a wildlife sanctuary. In wildlife sanctuary, like a little bit tweaking of rights is there, like raising of fire and firewood and collection of like some NTFP in industry, local food and all is allowed. And uh, out of the local geographical area, 3.87 percentage of the like total Indian geographical area has been converted into wildlife sanctuary. And third is conservation reserve. This is what we call as I think Dugong Conservation Reserve is a conservation reserve. So this is 0.17 percentage of the total geographical area of India and not much rights are affected like people can whatever they are doing they can like continue doing it but uh, smaller things are prohibited such, uh, such as like the explosive explosives or like dangerous substances can't be taken inside a conservation preserve and uh, there is no prohibition of entering or like exit and all but in national park and all entering and like exiting the particular area will be a problem like we have check posts and all not everyone can enter the national park not everyone can exit and wildlife sanctuary a little bit like lesser than that but severity is there. Conservation reserve, like most of the rights are still there except for the explosive or injury substances part. Community reserve is like least protected since the particular area is owned by a private like person. So the severity of protection is like much lesser. But uh, on a positive note, I would say like this conversion helps the government to have uh, any protection angle approach towards this particular land. Without this conversion, forest department cannot take any like uh, measure towards the like the saving of the particular species or not. So next. So next is schedule. And there are four schedules in India according to Wildlife Protection Act. So schedule 1, 2, 3 and schedule 4. Schedule 1 is like the most protected. Dugong is in schedule 1. And Dugong conservation area is uh, like category 3 of the land and Dugong is in schedule 1. So in penalty for like any hunting of this particular schedule species is like greater than, greater than 3 years and lesser than 7 years. So if you hunt any species, for example, tiger in India is a like scheduled one species, elephant is a scheduled one species. So if you hunt or like even try to hunt any species in a scheduled one, then your punishment will be somewhere around not less than three years and not more than seven years. If you are trying to hunt or like possess any scheduled two species, then it is up to three years. And for example of uh, scheduled two species is water deer, an example of scheduled three, scheduled three only plant species are there around 20 plant species out there. Example is like Nepenthes, Kitchen plant as we have, might have seen. Schedule 4 is like recently in 2022 Wildlife uh, Protection Amendment Act, we have included the sites list. So Schedule 4 cons consists of the species from other countries. For example, any species might have been native to Thailand, which we have may, might be protecting. So we want to include that species that is in Schedule 4. So native species of India, India is like being categorized into three categories and the non-native species is being categorized in the Schedule 4 category. So now we are coming into Dugong Conservation Reserve. It was notified in like 2022. Area is 448 square kilometers. Location is like right now we are in Tanjava district and neighboring district is Pudukurai district. So this particular area has been like notified as Conservation Reserve. There is a total coastal length of 44.8 
kilometers the coastal line and we have drawn a contour line. I'll show you in the map of about 10 kilometers. So this is the 44.8 uh, kilometer total length and we have gone and drawn a con uh, contour line of 10 kilometers so that converts into 448 square kilometers. So this is the uh, area of the Dugong Conservation Reserve. And in India, you can see it is in the southernmost state and uh, in Tamil Nadu, it's like King Park. Right? <coughs> Down where like, we are seeing Gulf of Manar, Gulf of Manar is already a marine national park. So right now, we are concentrating on park bears. Right? <coughs> so India, like, uh, Rukong Conservation Reserve is the like, uh, first uh, conservation reserve with this, uh, like, uh, where we are specifically concentrating on Rukong. So I'm happy that the Tamil Nadu is taking its uh, this particular measure. And distribution of Dugong in India, three places. One is Gulf of Kutch, second is like Parkway and Gulf of Manar, and third one is Andaman and Kapar. So these are the three places in India where Dugong is being seen. And in around, in around Parkway and Gulf of Manar, there are around 150 Dugong species that have been like uh, out of research, they have found out that this much number of uh, individual might have been present. So this is not the exact number, I am just saying this might be in the present status. So this is the conservation efforts timeline. Uh, in 2015, uh, Dugong recovery program was initiated by the government of India. So it was the first uh, step towards the protection of Dugong. Uh, to, uh, to assess the status and to assess the population and all. And next in 2016, a special task force was constituted by the uh, government of India. And that is a, I think uh, UCN and uh, Thailand delegates might have known about the Dugong MOU. It is an international like, uh, agreement or not, they have signed it. So out of that agreement, we have made a special task force in 2016. And in 2017, as I have already told you earlier, Dugong Conservation Reserve was established. And after the establishment of Dugong Conservation Reserve, along with the other district departments as well, and other with the Onkar Foundation, now I think we have started to protect more and more of Dugong species as well. And uh, in 2023, we have uh, got like uh, numerous uh, rescue and release things have happened. And uh, I so these are like two photos, I think uh, they might have seen, public might have, I don't know if they have already seen. In 2023, uh, in near Mandiri Patna, um, a dugong species like dugong was individual was uh, like captured and released. And in 2023, May month, another dugong was like released. Uh, in Tanjavada. So this is how, this is the timeline of dugong conservation research in Tamil Nadu, in India as well. That's it.